Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, May the 16th. And again, I just want to stay in touch with you through these video posts, trusting that God is encouraging you and strengthening you and keeping you walking close to him. Uh, I know these are difficult days, and the longer it goes on, uh, the more frustrating it becomes for us as God's people, but we just need to put our trust in and we need to continue to persevere. We've been looking at different signs of spiritual maturity from the book of James. We looked at a number of them. I, I, I think I've only got one or two more to do. This morning, I want to take a look at the need we have uh, if we're going to, to walk closely to the Lord to confess our sins. Confession is a huge mark of spiritual maturity. It's a recognition that God is right and that we're wrong. It's a recognition that we do sin constantly against the Lord, either privately or we sin against others. And James says, in James chapter 5, verse 16, he says this, Therefore, confess your sins to each other. I mean, the, the, I'll talk about that in a minute. Confess your, your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. So James says, confess your sins he talks about being to each other, but the first point I want to make is this. Confess your sins. Keep short accounts in your relationship with the Lord. When you're walking with him and you're, you're tempted or you sin, maybe it's a, a sin against your spouse, a sin against your children, a sin that's a private mental sin or a sin of the heart, whatever it is. Guys, we need to keep short accounts with God. We need to make sure that we're walking in the Spirit, that we're not hardening our hearts, that we're not wanting to go our own way, that we need to be sensitive to what God's Word says. And if God is showing something in our lives, even though it's hard for us to confess, it's hard for us to repent, of those things, if we're going to be spiritually matured, that's what we've got to do. We've got to be willing to confess our sins to the Lord. And the Bible says that when we do that, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, there's a second aspect of confession. Sometimes uh, in our spiritual walk, we need to have another believer, another brother or another sister in Christ. The men should have brothers in Christ. The women should have sisters in Christ. That maybe you need to share some of your struggles with those people and confess some of your sins to those people that they can hold you accountable. The whole point here is being held accountable and making sure that our relationship with God is always in a place where there's peace between us. So one mark of spiritual maturity is this need we have and this willingness we have to confess our sins. I pray that the Lord will give us all the grace to walk like that. I love you with all my heart. Be strong and faithful. We will be together soon. May God strengthen us as we continue to walk with him. Amen.